Where's filters? Okay, here we go. All right, this is for the VOD too. Hello, everybody. Welcome to this base base game, base buddy. I am inspired to play the base game because I am learning to play the base. Now, unfortunately, my base is very green, and I'm on a green screen, which means I have the Harry Potter invisibility base, which honestly is kind of cool in its own way. I can become invisible with the power of base. Um, I just thought I would show it off because it's relevant to the game. Now I gotta go put it away and actually set the game up. So this was a flawed logic. This was very flawed. This was not a, it was not a good idea, but whatever. I had to show you the base. Now you have a basis for what we're doing today. So let's get into the game, which we haven't even set up yet. <laughs> Let's set it up now. Base buddy. Let's see. Are you going to be cool? Yeah, we're in the game. Wait, why am I in? Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, my uh, my screen is a little bit uh, horrendous. Give me a minute. There we go. We're playing a game called Base Buddy. Audio uh, looking like audio. Hopefully it's all good. Hey Jane, I'm super fucking bored. Oh, wait a minute, whose voice is this? Cause I wanna, I need to, I need to make this voice. Uh, good. Oh, I'm, I think I'm Jan. Okay. Hey Jan, I'm super fucking bored over here. I guess that's that guy. So he's like, I thought I was, I was super fucking bored yesterday, but apparently that was only medium fucking bored. Want to play a game of like I don't fucking a Monopoly or Go Fish or fucking fucking uh like Pac Man or some shit? Fuck, sorry, Jan, baby. I forgot. I'm going to a different voice. I forgot you were still on the zone, still on the zone with your fucking students. Yes, yeah, my dog. Hey, buddy. Is this me? I don't know what's. I don't know who I am. Hey buddy, here boy, wanna play a game with Papa Lenny? Oh, caress my dog. Oh, my son, my child. Shall we play the bass together? Wahoo! My heckin' puppo. <laughs> yeah, you wanna play? Okay, so let's... I don't know who is talking <laughs> in, in any of these. Buddy, god damn it, if you pick up my foot, if you, oh, I think this is the, uh, if you pick up my shoe, oh my god, I'm so lost, buddy, god damn it, if you pick up my fucking shoe one more time, man, why do you dogs get so fucking excited over boring shit, woof, my name is Buddy, and I like the, f I like fucking chewing things, you gotta do the, the hand gestures, too. that's it, that's it. Chewing is my whole deal. My entire fucking personality is about chewing. Man, there's so much fucking more to this world than chewing, buddy. There's fucking, fucking lobster rolls, and uh, rigatoni, and uh, Paris. I, I, I like how I got the vibe, just from like the hand. And when I was your, uh, your age, buddy, I was, I wanted to be fucking, fucking, uh, hey, Jen. Who's that Canadian fucker who uh, has that hair, and his uh, voice is like, ah! Right, right. Sorry, Jam, baby. Uh, still on the on the zone. I fucking forgot. Like a big forgetter person. I don't know what my voice is like. Fifteen different accents. Anyway, this uh, fucking uh, Canadian greatest bass player in the fucking totality of existence. Now, not that saying much. I mean, fuck. Learning bass guitar is so easy that even. Wait a minute. Jane, I just had the best fucking idea, which, I, which I'm gonna do on my own business. I know you're still in the zone. Hey, buddy, it's time for a new quarantine project. You're probably gonna learn how to play the fucking bass. Yeah. I bet you could teach your dog how to play the bass. Maybe. <laughs> Game got a little loud. A little loud there. That's kind of the thing with itch.io games, though. There's no way to balance the audio. There's no... There's, it's just gonna be loud or quiet. Alright, let's see here, buddy. How the fuck am I gonna teach you how to play the bass? I thought I got an ad. Alright, give buddy a, a fucking treat. 
I could demonstrate how to play the bass. That's, that's stupid. I could give Buddy a bass, see what happens. I could teach Buddy music theory. Well, you don't need music theory to play the bass. So let's give Buddy uh, let's give it a bass, see what happens. Hey, uh, right, let's start, uh, Buddy. Yeah, there's a it's showing on my friggin' shoe. Uh, buddy, again with the fucking shoe. Uh, God damn it, what am I gonna do with you? Now you have no clue. Yeah, you have no- Now you have no choice. Offer a treat to get the shoe back. Alright, you treat- You tricky little fucker. I see you. I know you just want a treat. Well, guess what? You're gonna get one. Here, boy. Drop the shoe. Drop the shoe. Good boy. I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna put this away real quick. Just make sure you don't try that again. My arm has some sort of disease where it stops right at the end. You can't see it because I'm in the way. Now let's get back to business, buddy. Alright, uh... I guess I'll demonstrate. Alright, but okay, but look, so buddy. You just take your thumb, you put it in uh, fuck you, you ain't got thumbs, do you? Well, uh, just watch me. Maybe you can come up with, uh, your own way to do it. Look, oh, I'm getting a Windows update, oh god, no. Don't do that right now. Look. See, buddy? Easy peasy. And you're just doing a little brrrm brrrm, a little that. Right, let's keep going. Uh, let's uh, demonstrate how to play the bass again. Alright, look, buddy, it's real fucking simple. You just kinda, you know, do it, you know? Ah, oh, fuck, man. Maybe I'm the one who needs a bass lessons. Uh. Hey, buddy, buddy, here's a treat. Well, buddy, uh, you're not there yet, but you made some progress. So here's a treat. You'll be a good boy. Yeah! <laughs> hey, buddy, music theory. I don't. Who needs no music theory? Alright, buddy, uh, so look, uh, the thing you need to know about, uh, music theory is, uh, everything's a note or uh, some shit. Uh, B, that's a note. C, that's, that's also a note. Uh, W, uh, that, that, that's not a note. It's, uh, muse. It's not music theory and you ain't gotta fucking worry about it. The thing is, you gotta, you gotta know what a note is. They go, uh, together or they don't. Uh, A and C is like peanut butter. It's the only play A and C. You'll never go wrong ever. You got that, got all of that, buddy? I've, 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 I'm glad I know music theory now. Alright, let's teach Buddy some advanced music. Actually, you know what? Let's, see what, let's give Buddy the bass, see what happens. Uh, Buddy, I taught you some of the basics. Uh, why don't you just go in the... Why don't you just give it a shot there? Give, give it just pick up the bass. Well, well, okay, well, fuck, that's a start, I guess. You almost looked at it. Uh, let's give Buddy another... Just give Buddy another treat for looking. Alright, so uh, I already gave you a treat, but uh, who can resist that fucking face of yours? You see, I'll give it a little bit of one of these, a little bit of, oh yeah, a little bit of that. Yeah, buddy, uh, boy, take another, take a treat. As I like splat out a, uh, a brown mass out of my hand. Alright, try giving Buddy the base again. Now, I, t I gotta learn some advanced. Alright, buddy, strap your noodle in tight, because we're gonna get some really fucking complicated over here. When you play a bunch of notes at the same time, that's called a chord. Now, playing bass chords, that is kind of getting out there. And a bass player, you just gotta remember one thing, never fucking do that. Yeah, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, you can do bass chords, but no, nah, no, nah, nah, I'm not about that. I gotta play that one note over and over again. Chords are like chakras, I love them, but you gotta avoid them or else you fucking die, because you're a fucking dog. Uh, that's all you gotta know. You're a fucking scholar of music, buddy. I'll play the play the bass. All right, time to get play the friggin' bass. Uh, play uh, some really fucking uh, College of Berkeley ass. Uh, no, play the play the bass. All right, buddy. You know what they th say? If at first you don't succeed, shame on you. But if you still fuck it up a second time, shame on me. Do me proud, boy, and show me how you can handle that bass. Play the bass. And you didn't even fucking look at it. This son of a- he didn't even fucking look at the bass. Uh, I gotta teach him some real College of Berkeley level shit. Alright, buddy. So I hesitate to teach you this because I think it might literally expl explode your brain. Like poof. For everywhere. Here's the deal. Being a bassist isn't about hitting the right notes. It's not even about hitting the wrong notes. You just gotta do something. You hit the note, it sounds good. Boom. Keep hitting that sucker. You hit a note, it sounds bad, just fucking stop it. When in doubt, just hit, just do nothing. No one, it doesn't matter. I mean, you're the fucking bassist. Who, who cares? No one's gonna notice. No one cares. Alright, all right, you little fucking grasshopper. That's the extent of your sensei's knowledge. Alright, I gotta, I guess I'll just keep giving him treats. 
What, you want more fucking you treats, you, you furry little, <laughs> furry little fuck? Well, I guess what? You're gonna get him. I want to stop, but you're just too good of a boy. My child. <laughs> well, now what the? Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, fuck it, let's just give Buddy the fucking base. Alright, Buddy, I have a good feeling this time. Don't let me down. Just gotta, just, just hit any note. All right, go, go play the bass, boy. Come on, go play. Come on, I know you're thinking about it. You wanna, you wanna play the bass, buddy. Play the bass. Oh fuck, you were so close. I mean, by which I mean, not, not very fucking close at all. Um, uh, I'm out. Of, I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, I was at the bottom of the fucking barrel here. I don't got any more treats. No, I got no treats for you. Uh, think outside the box. Man, this is fucking not working. No matter what I do. You just don't fucking get it, buddy. If I'm gonna make you a rock star, I gotta, I'm gonna have to get some real fucking American integrity. What can I, what can I do to make you understand this? Hmm. I can put a shoe on a bass. Start singing a famous bass song. I can pour a bone broth. I, I'm gonna take some bo friggin' bone broth. I'm gonna pour that on the bass. Oh, that's the worst. Yeah, what's the worst that could fucking happen? How do you like the smell of this, boy? Oh, that was a, that was a horrific, visceral bone broth sound. Eh, you don't hate it, do you? Well, I think I uh, just made the bass stink stank for fucking ever, and it didn't even work. But it almost feels like progress. Alright, I gotta give him a... If I put a, maybe I put a friggin' shoe on the bass. You like shoes, don't you, you little fucker? Um, here, I'm gonna put a... I'm putting the shoe right down on the, on the base. Uh, come get it. I just got the- he got the shoe. Fuck it, down another shoe. He didn't even- he didn't even think about playing the base. Well, I know one thing's for fucking sure. You'll do anything for a shoe. Hmm. I know from the bone broth that you like the base better when it smells bad. I wonder what would happen if- I wonder if I put the base on my foot. Alright buddy, this is a fucking masterpiece. I know what I gotta do. Let me put the oh, let me put the old piggies on this base. Oh, that got your attention, huh, buddy? Ah, uh, you like a base a lot better when it's got my foot stank on it, huh? It's like a fucking musical shoe now. And we all know you can't resist shoes. All right, buddy, I'm taking my foot back. The base is all yours. Show me what you got. This gotta work. It's the only. I'm out of ideas. <laughs> okay, he's just rocking the base. I hope this isn't copyrighted. <laughs> now, the terrifying part is imagining the entire situation in real life. A game by Yoss 3. Yoss 3. Oh. Play a little, little bass action. Alright, well, uh, that was. I think there's multiple endings to this game. I'm sorry, that music is really loud here. I'll just. I'll yell over the music. Matt, what just happened? I don't know. I transformed in the role. Did the game, did the game just shut or did I close it like an idiot? I don't know if the game shut or I closed it like an idiot. There ain't no rule to say that a dog can't play the friggin' bass. I launched the game again. I, I fear that I may be stuck talking with this forever. Hey, Jen, I'm fucking bored over here. All right, let's. There's a bunch of stuff. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> All right, I'm. Tr I'm just trying to see. Oops. Oh god. All right, you know what? I'll just leave it. I'll leave it to you. I'll leave it to the viewer at home to play. Perhaps you can uh, find your own way. That was once again Base Buddy on itch.io. Alright, uh, I guess in continuing the theme of what just happened, let's play Nosferatu's Dryer on Fire. A game self-described as a quirky little adventure. Quirky adventure. Nosferatu. Start. I love the art style. The FOV is disgusting, but like what my friends play video games on. Greetings. I am delighted to welcome you to my home. I don't get visitors very often, you know. Please feel free to make yourself at home. Thank you, Nosferatu. 
This the FOV is like Quake Pro. Like my friends will play Minecraft on this FOV. Yo, we got Dollar Store Ed Sheeran over here. We got Wish.com Ed Sheeran. I'm sorry, that's probably the developer. I apologize. We got we got Clash of Clans on the wall. We got Johnny Sunglasses. We have Longboy Thomas. We have Anthony the the human. We got Gregory the other human. We have Slim Ricky and we got Wiley Jeffrey. That's the dev team who made the game. Wow, we got a lot of Ed. We got a lot of Ed around here. I'm I'm sorry, that's a very low effort comparison. Uh I apologize, developer of the game. I really like your game's aesthetic. It looks really good. I like the the pixel but like not in 3D-ness. All right, let's continue on. Let's continue on and find out what happened to Nosferatu's dryer which set it alight and caused the initial inciting incident. Perhaps. Perhaps the Schmidt will be my guide. Perhaps. Yes, uh, this, uh, yes, the load-bearing meat room in which the house's structural integrity relies on the meat being ever dripping and ever moist. Read. Meat recipe. One, acquire meat. Two, eat it. Optional. I've learned how to cook meat. Here's a meat. But what? There appears to be certain meat requirements that I must meet. I must meet a certain meat criteria before I am able to eat from the meat. Ah. A key. Oh, I already forgot the voice I did for him. Hello, hello again. Hello again. So you found... You found the dungeon key. I honestly don't know why it was here. <laughs> is this a wonderful scrapyard? The meat isn't that gross, is it? No, it looks pretty good. I'd eat it. Alright, we found the key to the dungeon. But what does that mean? It's Zoe Zoom meeting. It just looks like a Zoom meeting. Alright. Perhaps I'll have a better time in the dungeon, or perhaps I should explore. Perhaps I should read the note left for me. To-do list. Polish the floors, prepare the dinner, hide the dungeon key, tidy my room, and start the laundry. Hmm. Now I will say, I will head over here first because I want to see what's in here before I go to the dungeon. Ah, yes, the blood fountain. Hmm, is this working? Nothing. The blood fountain appears to be on the fritz. Hey, uh, chat, if you're if you're looking at if you're playing along at home, please turn the monitor upside down for no particular reason and then punch yourself on the shoulder. That's all I'm going to say. All right, in order to activate the Nether portal, we're going to need to enter the dungeon. I think we're going to have to go down for real. We're going to have to go down down doo 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 doo. -doo into the dungeon. We're gonna go down swinging. That's all I know. <laughs> my 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 feet my footsteps persist mid air because I'm walking upon air. This game's giving me very big. I, actually, I wonder if this game is based on Nosferatu: Rise of the Malache or whatever. A game that is very similar looking to this game. I actually now that I'm playing this game, I feel like this is probably intentional. Developers, is this game- I didn't read your description, because if not, it is very coincidental, and I have done a full playthrough of Nosferatu on my, uh, YouTube channel if you want to look at that, so please refer to that game, because this- this is giving me extreme similarities to that game. Hmm, perhaps I am missing something. Perhaps I am missing... Uh, maybe, wait, maybe I could, maybe I could gnaw on the marrow of this, of this skeleton bone. Perhaps. Perhaps if I was to chew on the head of the skeleton, I may consume its protein. Actually, look, I think the rooms are linked together. I think I was being foolish. Was I being foolish before? 
That looks like a secret door to me. Come on. Look at that. Wait, look at this. Could I perhaps push a block? Like, first of all, there's a hole here. Prime for secret. Second of all, that looks like a hidden wall. Nineteenth of all, I don't know where I'm going. And I don't know why. But I gotta listen to my heart. Before you tell me goodbye. Or other such lyrics from songs. Uh, oh. There's a door over here. Wait, this was locked, wasn't it? Alright, well, I've tried nothing and I'm all out of ideas. Uh... I hear the moaning of a tortured soul. Alright, so that's the dungeon. Maybe I need something else before I can go down here. Maybe I need to get a stepladder. I have three of eight things. I have three of eight and a dungeon key. Hmm... I, I'm almost positive that I probably need to go back down there and actually do whatever I need to do down there. I probably don't need to find anything over here, but I'm curious as to what I might find. Uh, Well, wait, there was meat, remember? I didn't... Oh, there's a... Yeah. That's good to know. We've gathered some information with that photograph. So there was meat, right? I don't know if I can eat the meat. Maybe the meat will Mario power up, make me grow strong. So if I was to eat... Look at this photograph! Every time it made me laugh, then I'm overbound. Dude, I, if, I, if I went... Yeah, show us the Nickelback. Existing. I really wish I could eat some of this meat. I wish they would update it so I could eat the meat. Alright, what if I press the uh, f the gun button to take up my gun? I could blast a hole in the wall. Every time it makes me laugh. Alright, I'm gonna go back down. I'm gonna go back down the stairs. Back down the spooky staircase. The spooky staircase of mysterious intent. And I'm going to talk like that for the rest of the run. Uh, I can't go out the main gate. The FOV, I'm like, it actually really isn't bad. It's just when you're looking in that one area, it's just like, for some reason, the FOV just seems crazy there. Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. Boom, boom. They shriek from their sarcophagus and something, something. Oh! I'm so sorry, skeletons, you're so misunderstood. You just want to socialize, but I don't think we should do do. I don't need to be singing on all these streams. Twitch, remember Twitch sings? Twitch, I don't, I think they discontinued it, but Twitch used to have karaoke. That could have been, that could have been, I'm an idiot. I am beyond dumb. I didn't see this. I didn't see the scary Halloween vent. Oh, oh. Where's Nosferatu? Pop, pop. I am the fool. Yeah, I am the fool here. It was me who was dumb. You see, the problem is this game doesn't have a lantern. I'm not holding a lantern. I what I really need is a uh, a lantern in my left hand. Like any good horror game. So I could fall down there and there was something I wanted to do. The Skull Room, a dissertation by N. Veratu. Was the construction of this altar necessary for the smooth operation of the castle? Yes. Give me that. Oh, I'm gonna need that skull. Gotta go put that in the... Uh... Right, so we got the crystal skull from Indiana Jones. And, uh, I think that, that's integral to making the stew. Oh, you stole my crystal- This is another new voice, I guess. You stole my crystal skull. I think this might be the original voice. Honestly, I thought I had hid that pretty well, too. Please just do not place that skull on the pedestal upstairs. I'm asking you as a friend here. 
please. Nosferatu out. Peace. Yeah, I, uh, I can't keep my voices straight. Hey, just a little selfie. Nosferatu taking a cash money selfie right there. Welcome. If you're reading this, you most likely have been taken as my prisoner. And that sounds bad, but it's actually a lot of fun. <laughs> we can play classic games such as Monopoly and Yahtzee. Man, this is Nosferatu, guys. He's alright. I have found seven of eight secrets. I have found seven of eight critical moments in gaming history. <gasps> Wait a minute. This is how this was the exit. I see, I see. This was the exit all along. Alright, Nosferatu. I know you're my friend and all, but I have to place the crystal skull in order to see how this Indiana Jones movie ends. Oh boy! Alright. Oh, or wait, there's also the key. We never found that key. Difficulty remembering voices. It is... Yeah, it's true. Like, if I have to, like, switch between them, I just can't think of them. Oh boy! Let's continue up. Upstairs. The scariest part of this game is exercise by walking upstairs. If that was you who was flickering the lights, then who was? Nosferatu. He's the hash slinging, the, sh the smash bringing, the blash blinging, the blap blinging. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, sl hash slinging slasher moments. Alright, let's do the thing. Let's do the big comedy. Hey, was that your face on a painting? Which one? I don't know. Probably not since I wasn't a, a developer. Yo, we entered the dirty laundry, the dirty, stinky laundry room. Alright. Okay, listen. I'm gonna be cash money, no cap real. Yes, this is my bedroom. I realize that it's a little uh, dirty. I haven't cleaned this place in uh, a while. That's why I didn't want you to come in here. Well, now that you're here, can you help me with my laundry? It's over by that uh, corner. Take it to the laundry room. Downstairs first, door on the, the left. Now, can you please get out of my here? <laughs> he has got the Minecraft poster. He's got the, that poster. He's got that. He's got dirty ass laundry. Guess I'll pick up his gross laundry. <laughs> He's got this massive piss stain on his bed. Rent a crow. This anime, the anime domicile. He's got, yo, my man's rocking the Courage the Cowardly Dog television. My big speech. Greetings, I am delighted to welcome you to my home. Please feel free to make yourself at home. I'm gonna have some water. Gotta lube the larynx, if you will. Loosen up that, uh, tracheal. You're not perfect. <laughs> Number 15, the scariest moments in Courage. Number four, number 15, when King's Ramsey said return the slab, I literally started pissing and shitting everywhere uncontrollably. Admittedly, I was lying about that, but that's even worse. A 4chaner posted my pissing and shitting video anonymously to the site with the caption, this is the chills you get when he watches horror content all right there we go we we uh we managed to milk that bit long enough to get to the dirty laundry room my man has not washed a single pair of laundry in his life you know i really appreciate your help now just put the laundry in the washer oh, you have to be so bossy all the time jeez that's perfect, thank you. So, did you watch Cyberpunk on Netflix yet? I hear it's pretty good. Oh man, no man, I mean, I, I don't have a Netflix subscription right now, I, I mean... 
you know, it's kind of, I, I don't really have that, so it's like, oh, it's, it's cool, man, I'm, I'm just, uh, it's, it's really, you should really check it out, it's really quite good. Oh, wait, there's actually dialogue, now we just have to, uh, wait, so, uh, what do you think of my, uh, castle? Pretty cool, right? Yeah, yep. Maybe it, uh, it's a little, uh, tacky. So, uh... Oh, no, you go ahead. It's ready. Take the laundry out. Alright, it's ready. Start the dryer. Great job. Now just put them in the dryer. Is that smoke? Uh huh. What? WTF? It's on fire! What do we do? We are going to die! The end. Well, another case solved. The end. A game by Zach on Special thanks to all my friends and family, especially Cole and Joni. All art, models, and music belongs to their respective owners. You found the color yellow eight notes. That is really loud. Oh, okay. You found them all. Your reward is nothing. Well, that was uh, Nosferatu's dryer is on fire. Kind of like in the title. Kind of in giving away a little, a little, a lot in the title there. All right, what else we got here? Ooh, we could play. Uh, let's play. You know, let's play. Just keep the weirdness going. Let's play a hype. Let's play the hypnogogia. Hype hypnogogia. Let's play 3D Dream World. Crazy Dreamer. A game where we're gonna be entering the world of dreams for the LSD Game Jam of 2020. Oh, we're, uh, we're doing this aesthetic? Gotcha. Oh, I got you covered. I got you covered, Chief. You didn't think I just could pull out a, uh, a 4x3 aspect ratio out of nowhere? No, we got it. We got it covered. This game contains flashing lights and unsettling imagery. My favorite kind of imagery. Okay, the audio looks a little loud. I'm gonna lower it. Any updates on Lil Hootie? Uh, yeah, the developer commented on the, the video and stuff and was like, pretty, uh, poggin'. Sorry, wait. How's that for audio? Does that sound, does that sound reasonable to your ears now? Yeah, that, on uh, my stream readout, that looks good. Does that sound good? Is it, that's good? Okay, cool. Not too loud, not too quiet. Let's dare to dream. Dream Hub. We've arrived at the Dream Hub. The home of all dreams. I have a feeling this game will be less wacky than the last games, but more strange. Oh god. I I am uh, in I'm apparently in control. Don't let your dreams die. Don't let the flame die out. Oh god, I'm- oh wait, I just realized something, that it's using my controller. That's why it was being wacky. There we go. I had a controller plugged in, and it was like, just staring at the ceiling. Okay. A bunny. Remember this guy from Mario 64 earlier? Hi, I'm Gogi. Uh, welcome to the Dream Hub. You can view controls or leave the hub from the pause menu using the tab key, or start if you're using a controller. There is one bright red crystal in each dream. They may be hard to find, so look everywhere and talk to everyone. Also, things may get weird or surreal later. These are dreams, after all. If, if something really weird happens, though, be sure to let the dev know. Anywho, you'll probably be seeing me around. I'll activate the first pillar for you. Catch you later. Thank you, my friend. Look at this pillar. Uh, actually, that's the pillar. Yahoo! Hey, we got our first power star. 
We really kind of did come full circle, didn't we? After playing Mario 64 earlier. Climb the cat tower. Learn. Hub. <laughs> what a warm, fuzzy feeling I'm having right now. Sometimes it's the smallest things in life that need your most attention. The cats here will be happy to see a new face. Hope you brought some treats. Anyway, tell that tell him Gogi said hi. The hub. <laughs> the hub. Are you familiar with the hub, dumb Fennec? Is that why you're typing the hub? Alright, let's continue. Downer, upper, the dreams. We got the LSD style dream mechanics. LSD being the PS1 Japanese game. Greetings, traveler. We've been expecting you. Please visit our temple and speak with the elder cat. It sits to the east of the top of the hill. You can't miss it. Okay. I must find the eldest cat and give him a word or two. Welcome to our sanctuary, traveler. It is an honor to have you here. We hope you find peace and comfort within our walls. Please stay as long as you like. There's another cat over here. You're a pleasant sight for an old cat. Don't mind me, just keeping the grounds clean. If you wish to speak with my elder, he's inside. There's a lot of cats. I'm going to give them... All the rest of these cats inexplicably sound the same. Oh wait, they're meditating. Best best to leave them undisturbed. You, I don't, I don't have to tell me twice. Speak with her cat. Oh. This cat's a big boy. We have many leather-bound books here. And our temple smells of rich mahogany. Why don't you stay and rest for a while? I must speak to the elder cat. Welcome to our sacred tower, restful one. Your presence is of the highest honor to us. Now to business, I wish to make a trade with you. I haven't eaten all day and grow very hungry. The monks are too busy to help me, but you look up to the task. Bring me a fish which, uh, with which to eat, and I will reward you. Hurry now, I will be waiting here. Right, where am I going to find a fish at such an hour? Where in the world am I going to find a fish such short notice? That is like, actually that's a great question. Where where am I going to find a fish? Perhaps in a bush? I'm going to hop around. Hmm. I, I have a feeling the fish could be in one of these bushes. Or perhaps now the f now that we are like looking for it, we'll be able to find it. You know what I mean? It could be one of those mechanics where we maybe I could ask around. Helping our I uh, this welcome to not remembering the voices. Helping our elder with a small task. How noble of you! As you can see, we're a busy people. Lots to do. Lots to do. Maybe you should speak with some of the other monks in the garden below. Hmm. Perhaps where is the fish? I hear gossip of a task you've been given by our elder. I'm afraid I don't have much in the way of help, but you should try speaking with a welcoming monk down the stairs over there. Welcome to another episode of What Was That Voice? Yeah, don't don't think I'll ever remember. It's not gonna happen. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hmm, where is- is there another cat? I thought there was another cat around here. There's another- where's the cat? There's another cat among us. I guess I have to keep going backwards. In the cat shrine, only two things are known for sure. Okay, can I find the cat? Hmm. It's taking me all the way back to the be- I thought the fish was behind him. Looking for me, you say? I believe I can show you the right direction. I keep a small bundle of fish for snacking when I get hungry. Take a look under the ramp leading toward the temple. Feel free to take as much as you like. I have plenty to spare. I could have I could have told you that. Two, let's head underneath the area. 
number 15 the the ramp under the stairs the the hiding place of many cats is underneath the stairs this is not it i think my problem with the chills voice is i never have anything interesting to say as chills ah here we go there's some fish here. The other would, would find this satisfactory. You take the whole bundle. They're pungent and slimy. You barely are able to hold them all. Man, I can't hold all these fish. No wonder he sounds bored. Number 15. Making the same list 15 times a day. You might think it sounds entertaining, but it probably gets pretty boring. Boring. Alright. Mmm, <clears throat> delicious. Thank you for your offering, kind traveler. I will honor my end of the bargain and grant you passage. I can spare some. Player takes all of them. Yeah, that sounds about right. Please ascend the steps above to find the top of our temple. What you find there will help you on your journey. What's up, Smet? How you doing? Good fortune on you and take care. Meow. Okay, there is just... He, he just has the platforming game uh, pillars in his house. Fair enough. Yo, that cat doesn't have an enchanted set of Minecraft armor and he lives in a library. What What is he doing? Did I just double jump? No, I, have, I only have a singular jump. So we have a lot of games with a double jump. We don't have a lot of games with a tertiary third jump. A triple jump. Not a huge amount of games will do that. Just ran some Curse of the Strad for harm. Hell yeah. I recognize that word as something from D&D. It's not often we get to see a sunrise as beautiful as this one. Take a moment and breathe, relax those shoulders and stretch. The scenery below is just an added bonus. A rest to our weary eyes on. Take good care of yourself and others will appreciate it. So yeah, that is that's a notable D and D campaign, right? That's like a pretty popular. Mo is it a module? Is that just like a? Uh, isn't that pretty like notable? Because I've heard the name. Wow. Hello. Did you know? Did you know this game was made by one person for the 2020 LSD Game Jam? Did you know? The devs spent a total of 26 days finalizing the code, art, and animations. They worked from October 30th through November 25th for nearly eight hours a day. Well, to that developer, you did a very good job. Because this game is pretty cool. Now entering. Where? Now entering. Traverse the sky. Whoa. Bit of a draft way up here. Wouldn't you agree? Sometimes I forget to stop and breathe a little. Did you know? I did not know that. In a world full of problems, the soft sound of wind calms us all. You'll be fine. Just don't look down. What? Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's a large module of a vampire trapped in a prison realm. That's pretty cool. So, if you brought garlic along with you on that journey, would you just instantly win the, the game? Do D&D do D &D vampires care about garlic? Shrek, Shrek, I'm looking down. Are you, uh, are you? Keck W, no. Are you up here? Just a bag of holding stuffed to the brim with garlic. And just beat them, like, with a sack. Just, like, beat them over the head with it. As a blunt, uh, improvised uh, weapon, blunt object. Are you up here because you have lots of worries, too? I like it because it lets me clear my head and finally think. Reading the inscriptions of our immaculately carved statues helps me relax, too. Damus is a much venerated and deeply celebrated god. Homes, pleasure, and dance are but a few elements of this divine being. I feel like I'm traversing through the, like, Macintosh, uh, slowed down vaporwave music. Are you up? Oh, I already read that. Let's enter these rings. They're not rings, they're, like, areas, doorways. This is the philosopher Thinkopus. My, my, Mildar. Mildar is... A vastly honored and often obeyed god. Oh, whatever you just posted, the bot was not happy with that. Big oof. Answer riddles and life are principal elements of divine beings. I'm sorry, Smet, but the bot does not take kindly to... Oh, ugh. 
They just did the like your free falling thing. Ugh, that made my stomach drop a little bit. That that classic dream of just being like, oh, I'm in a dream, and then you're just like, oh, I'm falling, and then you just wake up, and then it's like 2 a.m., and you're like, well, I can't sleep now. Here, here we go. Did I already? I must have already read that one. I didn't. I didn't see that jump right there. Clouds are so often... Sorry. Clouds are so underappreciated. Just look at them. They're majestic chariots of air, water, and lightning. Something so delicate, yet so deadly. It's rather humbling. Is a hugely respected and gratefully praised god. Peace, balance, and nature are important elements of this divine being. I don't want to fall again because that was terrifying. What say you? Yes, is a greatly esteemed and hugely obeyed god. Property, nature, and birth are dominant elements of this divine being. Yahoo! Waha! Woohoo! Whoa! Whoa! Do a little bit of Mario. Ah, yes. Welcome to my sky palace. You seem pretty far from home, am I right? Well, unfortunately, if you wish to proceed, you must face a challenge. You must fight me to the death in a battle of epic proportions. I'm kidding. What would I even do? Just float and chime? Not much of a threat, huh? What I can do, however, is show you home. Just talk to my brother over yonder. He looks like me, only smaller. Perhaps this is his brother? Well, there's the sky device. I'm not normally a fan of big heights. Gives me the chills. It, I'm not. I'm not a normally a fan of big heights. They give me the chills. Flying this high would be dangerous in any other circumstance. There's a bellowing pillar of clouds underneath us, though. So at least. <laughs> so that's nice. At least. Uh, that was a, sorry. That was bad chills. I don't know how chills would read that. That might be what you get. Ah, uh, isn't the mind a beautiful place to escape to? There's no limits. You're free to do whatever you want. It's a bit frightening being given so much power, don't you think? Right now, I'm racing robot jaguars on the moon. My, my chill's impression gets worse and worse as we go, as the days go on. Ah, Greenicus. Oh, we already we already read all the different statues, but they, they're here to greet me at the end. I assume you've spoken to my older brother back there. He likes a good joke from time to time, as you can guess. Anyway, the path behind me takes you deeper into the dream. I'll open it for you. Under one condition, guess the correct answer to my riddle. Before you are four statues of gods long past, the question is, which of these divine beings' principles are answers, are answers, riddles, and life? Approach and choose the correct statue, and this belongs to you, and I will grant you passage. I didn't actually like really read these very well. I don't think it was this guy. I'm gonna go with the uh, purple Daniel. Uh, deeply celebrated. This isn't the correct statue. Uh, yeah. I mean, this I was first try. Believe it'd be the best answer, because all life's questions are solved through riddles. Very good. You've done your homework, or you've just guessed. Either way, my word is bond. We always appreciate visitors, so come see our beautiful statues again. Goodbye. So long, Bowser. When you walk away, you won't hear me say. Just climbing up the sanctuary stairs from Kingdom Hearts. Oh, my sanctuary is the light. You know what I'm talking. If, if, if you've seen the Kingdom Hearts intro, you know what I'm saying. I don't think that's when you. I don't, yeah. Oh, God. You know what I'm talking about. Did you know? There's many secrets hidden here and throughout the dreams you explore. <laughs> oh, yeah. I only I only hear Goofy singing. I heard. I heard there was a good way to find them. Look for walls with significantly different textures. There's an entire secret world. Gosh. I'm gonna jump in the ocean. Oh. Shin. When Goofy walks away, you won't hear him saying, Gosh! Enter the next domain. 
I'm entering a domain unforeseen. A world of pure... Oh, I actually really like... I'm... Okay, it's underwater. I really dig how this area looks. This is pretty cool. Wait, he has a helmet on. He's not going to be muffled. From the top of infinity to as deep as the deep can go, this floating, flowing weightlessness is a comforting blanket. Let the water take you where it needs to and enjoy the ride. Ah, uh, Goo Lagoon. A wonderful mix of sand and sea, or whatever he says. Yo, shout out to Spongebob where they swim. I mean, I think there's a lot of people who are like, did you, like Spongebob is swimming, but he lives underwater. They don't realize it's called Goo Lagoon. They're swimming in goo. They're like swimming in like primordial ooze. So it is different. Um, but it is weird that he's in goo. And also like, I don't know. I, I kind of lost my train of thought there, but yeah, just like the conceptually Goo Lagoon is weird. And they only really use that early on and they kind of like don't use that location that much. All right. Who's this guy? Hey man, what's the rush? Just chill and hang, relax. Uh, the Kong clan you see above you are mega passive. Just doing their thing. Forget all about that man, just pull up a statue. Powwow me and you're my friend here. It's true, you can powwow with me, the giant statue man. But I don't wanna. I bet there's a secret, like... There is almost certainly a secret here. This level oozes secretness. But, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna really... I'm not gonna go out of my way to look for it. I will let you discover it if, if, if you so want to play. I will see if I will, uh, journey into a land of pure imagination, but I will not go the distance. That makes no sense. Hey, how is that this pyramid built here or up there? Why would you build something so deep down here? These are all things that keep me up at night, man. These platforms look real curious right now. I don't know why all these people have this voice, but I kind of dig it. Yo, this statue farting, dude? That's crazy. When things come lost, they are reclaimed by the deep ocean. Thoughts, material, items, civilizations, all here. You never know what you're gonna find. Some say something like this, uh, unfathomable. I'll be here all week. I posted a thing on Discord. Okay, let me look at, let me peep it real quick. This just reminds me, I want to, I want to buy Subnautica and play Subnautica. I think I would actually, like, I have vague fear of the ocean, so I feel like that could actually be kind of a good game. Goofy sings simple and clean. Oh, it's Pro ZD. Oh, yeah, I've, I've definitely seen this. All right, you know what? <laughs> I'll play one second of it. You don't hear me say. Wow. <laughs> Man, Pro ZD is really good at that. <laughs> It's almost like he's a professional voice actor. Be cursed like me. Gorsh. Maxi! Alright. How do I get up here? Perhaps using my superior knowledge of platforming will allow me to gain access. Uh, no. When you walk away. Yo, I, uh, I vibe so hard to Simple and Clean. I mean, it's still, it still is really good. That shows to the, was it like the Planet B remix? Like, the, the actual song you're hearing of Simple and Clean is a remix. Uh, and that remix is just being good. Like, I will say, and this is gonna sound really lame. Like, this is gonna sound very, very lame. But I do get, like, this weird nostalgia sadness from playing. From, like, I can't really sit on the Kingdom Hearts 1 or 2 title screen. Because they it, it plays, like, the dude, Dearly Beloved or whatever. I get this really, like, nostalgic, like, really sad vibe from that. Because it reminds me, I played those games when I was very pretty young. And it's just, like, a sad song anyway. And it's just, very like, so nostalgic that it's like, oh, this is kind of, like, sad in a way. And, oh, and it's funny, because that game in general is very, like, Heart! Sora, the heart's dark! Sora, you need to... The Kairi's heart's full of dark? It's very, like, lame. <laughs> and, and, like, uh... 
very like that kind of dialogue, but like there is some emotionalness to it. I think it's more about being nostalgic for it though than the actual game itself. Now, I don't think this is what you're supposed to do, but it looks like I need to get up there. Do I want to jump? I don't think I want to jump at the peak. Maybe I do. I kind of half-assed it there. I don't know if I want to jump at the peak of my jump, at like the apex, or if I want to jump... Uh, I want to jump the way I was doing. This doesn't feel right. Right, guys? I, I think this feels wrong. Ow, I tried to jump there, but I fell. Like, I, I, I can't see this being the right thing to do. Maybe I just need to talk to people more, and then they'll, like, make a platform for me. I bet that's probably the, the actual case. Let's do that instead. I think this game rewards you for, like, talking and thinking. Rather than just running around and acting. Let's, let's try this again. Hmm. Is that moving now or no? It's just, it's just the illusion of movement. There's a guy up there. I'll explore a little bit. Let me explore some more and maybe I'll uh, return. There is a creature, a, a stone-like creature chilling. What say you? Can't talk right now. Been busy digging in this quarry for weeks now. Maybe check back with me later. I might have found something cool by then. Hmm. I feel like that's like an archetype of gaming. Like, the guy who's digging up a hole, come back later. In a lot of JRPGs I've been playing, that has been like a very big mechanic of just like... Come, maybe I'll find something, come back later, and then they like will find something... Like, it feels like that happens a lot in gaming. In the gaming lexicon of gaming things. I'm trying to, like, press all my buttons to see if I have, like, some sort of, like, warp teleport. Like, I have some crazy movement that I'm not aware of to get up to that platform. But I don't think that's the case. I think it's just a matter of being good at jumping. But what do you have to say over here, person? I've been down here a long time and managed to collect quite a few trinkets. Only thing I can't stop thinking about is owning a nice big crusty anchor. Maybe I could interest you in helping look for one. In exchange, I'll set you up with one of my most prized possessions. Let me know when you found an anchor. I'm not going anywhere. Alright, so this is probably going to give me some sort of like jump boots or something. Anchor. Hmm, a kernel. Did anyone see an anchor? Besides the uh, podcast hosting platform that hosts the Have You Ever Played Podcast, a podcast by Matt Von Dude and James. The Have You Ever Played Podcast, available on YouTube and most podcasting websites. Oh, I thought this was an anchor, but it was a fool. It was I was foolish to think that. Uh, I don't really know where the anchor is. Hmm. Perhaps it's back at the start, or perhaps it's smaller than I think, and it's, like, hidden. It's either going to be massive or hidden. I, I was hoping that this man would uh, have more to tell me. An anchor. Where would an anchor be? Are you an anchor? You know, you're just a, you're just a fish thing that I saw earlier. It's like a stone fish thing. Ah, wait a minute. The man who was looking for something, he found the anchor. Check this out. A big old anchor. Not to something. Huh? Well, take it off my hands. Well, more interest than me. Yeah. A massive iron anchor clad with a thick coat of rust and sea crud. You somehow pick it up and shove it in your pocket. That's what I like to see. Looking like villager from uh, Super Smash Brothers Brawl. Uh, Brawl. Uh, Ultimate. Villager was most certainly not in Brawl. All right, let's get over here. Let's get over yonder to give the anchor to the man behind the scenes. And perhaps he'll give me some sort of jump boots. Or maybe he'll just put a grade up or something. Now that's what I'm talking about. That's one good looking anchor. I'll set it up in front and center for the whole world to see. Thanks for nabbing that for me. My prized possession you asked? Climb those platforms over there by the pyramid. You'll find it at the tip top. 
I, I'm wondering, I'm pretty sure I was probably able to skip this. I bet you that, see how there's now a platform there? I bet you, you could totally, like, frame perfect, really, really get, if you really tried hard enough, you could probably get onto that other thing without having to use a platform over here. I am willing to bet, but I don't know if the, I don't know if it'll spawn, whatever it is, up here. If it does, that's some speedrun tech. I'm just chilling at the bottom of the ocean. I felt if only I knew how to swim up, then this would all have been avoided. I could have just went blop 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 blop. Could have blop blop blopped my way all the way up up up. What does this fella have to say? Phew, I'm winded. What brings you all the way up here? Trying to check out that weird artifact? Fair enough. Well, uh, don't mind me. I'll just be admiring the foggy scenery. Goodbye. I feel like maybe jumping on that fish could provide me some entertainment. But I don't want to walk all the way back if I fall. So let's get the cube. Yes, another artifact grabbed. Another artifact, another day. Back to the dream hub. Oh, it's weird having physics again after being underwater. While well, I'm dead. Game over. Alright. Let's continue. You can't keep a good dreamer down. Did you know? The dev is a huge fan of 90s 3D games, if you haven't already guessed. Their favorite titles include Mega Man Legends, Mario 64, Silent Hill, and LSD Dream Emulator. Just to name a few. All good games, all good choices. We're playing Mario 64 right now, actually. In prep for the podcast. Over the hedge. Life gets compared to a lot of things, you know? You know? A beach, a game, or something about lemons. I think it's mostly like a maze. I mean, think about it. Put all those other things in a maze, and I think you'll get a better comparison. Just talking about it is making my head spin. Don't get lost. Uh, that's not helpful. Do not fear the mind labyrinth. It's only a singular passage. Hmm. Look at this big boy. You gonna help me trim these hedges? Oh, don't bother. If it's one thing I don't need, it's someone messing things up. All you these young folks sleep all day wearing a fancy knickknacks, eating a hot chip, and lie. Back in my day, we landscaped till the sun came up. That was our entertainment. Thank you. Okay, boomer. Thank you, my friend. Alright, we're gonna go right first. No secret. We're gonna go left. No secret. We're gonna go continue on this way. I'm so tired, so sleepy, so comfy. You should find another way, yawn. Alright, Snorlax is blocking my path. So I guess I will go this way and go the other way. Uh, if you lost or confused, please call your guardian. Alright. Yo, Jeff, help me out, boy. Alright, let's see. Can we figure this out? This feels right to me. Life gets compared to a lot- wait, this is the beginning. <laughs> How do I get back here? Alright, so I went back to your- I think it is one- W. I don't know how that happened. Uh... <laughs> Alright, so that's a dead end. I think it is only one path. Maze door open. Door stuck, door stuck. Let's try this way. Alright, this guy's asleep here. And then this is a different way. I don't know how I managed. You entered it and ran back. Alright, this is going back to the... Oh, there's a chest here. A hefty looking chest is sitting here. You swear you've seen it before. You try opening, but it's locked. Where would you find the key? Well, we found a key at least. Or we found a chest at least. The orange figure watches you while you dream. Chester Cheeto? The orange one? 
Maybe now that I've found the chest, another pathway will be unveiled for me. Wow, there's actually a lot going on here. Indigenous maze plant. Do not touch or lick. Touch. You lick the maze plant. Shame on you. I can't stop licking the plant. It's so divine and lickable. Alright, uh... <laughs> Bombs, rope, lamp oil, you want it? It's yours, my friend. You look like someone that can't get out where they need to be. Let me guess, my bro is in the way again? Yep. I'll have him out move for you. Catch you later, bub. Well, let's go back to where we were. Easier said than done. Because uh, we're probably going to hit a dead end or go backwards. Yeah, we went back to spawn. I think this maze is... I, I, I can honestly say to you that I, th I think this maze isn't as it appears. I think it is actually like... I feel like it's moving around. And I don't know if I'm like crazy or not, but I feel like the maze is not... It's tiny. Yeah. There's the chest. You have a stroke. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, I just have to go right the whole time. Oh, there, there we go. I was in the way, sorry, I got tired from being so lazy. Now I feel bad. Here's a gift. The old skeleton key. Thank you, my friend. Alright, well, I gotta go find the chest. I gotta go back to get the chest now. I mean, there was more to see over there, but uh, I want to see if the chest is progression or not, you know? All right, all right, all right. Let's go get the let's go get the skeleton key. You insert the key from the sleepy goblin. Inner workings of the chest are an enigma. One gamer coin. We got one U.S. coin. You find a shiny golden coin. Something tells you that this is your lucky day. Take the coin with you. Nice. I got a coin. Do you know how much that is? Do you know how much that's worth on the black market? At least twenty-five cents. All right, let's continue back the way we need to go, which is this way. Lick, you touched it. Was it satisfying to you, criminal? Yes. You bother the plant because you have nothing better to do. Why can't I bother? Oh. Offer a coin and your wish will come through. To the well or the plant? So, what's the downer BS? So the upper and downer, I think, is a reference... To um, to uh, LSD, the dream game, the dream game that this was like made for, inspired by, because you'd have different dreams in that game that are like up or down or etc. You flip the coin you found into the fountain. Your wish will forever remain a secret, but it involves this door opening. All right, what's this say? Where one path ends, three branch from it. Tree, tree branch from it. Alright, so... There's like a plum. I'm going this way. Okay, cool. We made it, I hope. We did it. I'm just looking for any secrets, potentially. I bet there's secrets everywhere, but... I'll let that... I'll leave that for you, the viewer, to find back in the dream hub let's find another did you know gaming fact did you know did you know mario's name is mario did you know did you know i was the first model the dev made and animated it and when production began the idea of a cute white rabbit leading you around dream sounded very alice in wonderland so i was born my name is gogi derived from the title hypnogogia and you pronounce it hypnogogia I'm glad I now know that. It's pronounced Hypnagogia. So his name is Go. His name is Gigi. Then. So is his name Gigi? Or no, Go. His name is Goji. His name is Goji. So it's Hypnagogia. Goji. Yeah, it is Goji. Did you think it was Hypnagogia? 
Hypnagogia. Oh, now we're in like scary world. Edge of the world. Is this the end of the world or the end of something more metaphorical? The weather is not doing us any favors, so I don't think about it too hard. I thought it was a game. It's a scary world out there, especially if it's your world that's in the mix. I don't think past that. Strangers may try to fool you, but they have no control over your choices. Like, the chat may try to fool you. Does this guy have, like, a gun? No, it's... Look at this guy. As long as I stay here, I stay warm. Need the need that fire. We can't have any. I wish I could give you some, but I can't. If I gave you any, how would I keep warm? Give me a break here. Oh. Can I stand on fire? No. That fire's lit. That fire's lit, fam. Alright, this, this is a lot... This area is more... It feels like it's more of a downer. This area is a lot creepier than the other area. Oh, what about this guy? I lost nearly everything after the flood. Left my house in shambles, as you can see. All I have left is this chair and a bunch of soggy books. Only one of which is actually dry and legible, a dictionary of all things. Maybe that'll be worth something to someone and I can get back on my feet. Okay. Man, this is rough. What about this guy? What's your what's your story, fellas? Go away. We're full up. Man, what a what a sad world we live in. Are you here to check this thing out too? Yeah, weird looking structure. Always been here for some reason. No clue what's at the end of it. I would give it a go, but you know, I'm not really feeling it. I'm not really feeling it. If you're brave enough to hop over there, let me know if you find anything. Oh wow, how am I... How am I supposed to do that? I... I'm dead. Ugh. I'm not exactly how sure how I'm supposed to get up there without... Maybe I need to like talk to some more people. This guy's singing in the rain. Hey man, got any loose change on you? I need to get out of the rain. None at all? That's fine, I guess. Take care out there. I'll just stay here, hoping the next guy will come along with something for me. I got nothing, dude. I had a coin. I had to make a wish. This guy. Oh! There's like an Among Us entity. Like a Slender Man Among Us. It won't last long. This close to our breaking point. Take it from me, man. I mean... Look at the state we live in. It's rough. We all need to wake up and face reality. It's downhill and always has been. Look at that. Look at that Among Us entity. It looks like I, I can almost jump between these buildings over here. Hmm. Sexy long legs. So much garbage strewn around town all the time. The floor you're walking on right now, made of garbage. These clothes I'm wearing, complete garbage. Why bother recycling our trash when we can make new trash? Fair enough. Oh, excuse me, yawning. Hmm. I feel like... Are you, wait, this is the soggy books. Look at these soggy books. Well, those are, those are bricks. Those are not books. So, I want to try to go up here, but I don't think I can yet. That's the end of the level, but it, f it feels like I need some... something. Doesn't... I don't think I can get up here by myself. I mean, maybe I can? I don't want to fall off again. Hmm. There's really, there's seriously no one who can help me here. Go away, we're full up. Not even, no one? Wow. We truly live in a society. There's probably something I can do. Maybe that taxi, maybe I can take that crazy taxi. And get where I need to go. Also, this guy in the spotlight, I don't know if we've talked to him already. Uh, oh yeah. 
books. If you find me a nice book, I'll give you a hint. All right, oh, wait, that was a new guy. I didn't read his dialogue though, because I was, I didn't know if he was a uh, person. Now I'm gonna check this car out real quick. I'm assuming we'll have to do something with that car. But I need to go get the book from the book guy who said he had a book. We'll talk to John Bookerton and get his book. Then we'll, uh... Maybe we have to trade it. You're looking for a book? I can sell you my dictionary. It's all I got. No money on you? Uh, who am I kidding? It's not worth anything anyways. It's yours. Just take it. I never learned anything from it. I left it over. I left it over on the bookshelf. Go have some fun. There's an old dictionary here. It's dry but falling apart. Marion Jebster's Collegiate Dictionary, Second Edition. A fascinating read, you're sure. You take a look at the you take the book. That does suck when all your books are waterlogged except like the, the dictionary. It's like if all your video games were destroyed except for like Wii Sports. Or I guess Picto Chat. Just like kind of like something where it's like hey, you can kind of have fun with it, but like not really. Dictionary, is that your idea of a hilarious joke? Wasn't what I had in mind when I mentioned entertainment, but it's better than nothing, I guess. If anything, it should make some good kindling. Now for my equally disappointing hint. The edge of the town is a concrete structure covered in graffiti. It's been there longer than I can ever remember. No one's ever brave enough to explore it. Everyone says they've seen some kind of shining object at the end. Sure, check it out. So here's the deal. It's like I kind of, I, I could have just beat the game. But I had to get the hint in order to even have this appear, so. Fair enough. That's a little weird that, like, you need to, like... I kind of wish you, ha you had to get, like, a ladder from that guy or something. I mean, it is a dream and dreams are not don't make sense. But, like, it is kind of weird, right, that, like, you do this and the only reason it stops you is because you didn't talk to the guy. Alright, so we were entering worse and worse zones. Like, in terms of spookiness. Perhaps the next zone will be spookier. Or ookier. Or creepy. It might be creepy. It might be kooky. We'd have to find out if it's altogether any spooky. Did you know? Did you know? <laughs> Hypnogogia is a term used to describe the transition between wakefulness and sleep. That makes sense. During this state, people have experienced strange hallucinations, lucid dreams, scares of all sleep paralysis. I've had that happen many a times. Themes of this game are attempts at depicting dreams induced by the state. Yeah, I've had that. Ugh, that sucks. Alrighty then, let's continue. Find the figure, okay. It's not always feasible to live in your safe zone, you know. Sometimes you gotta leave it for a little ease into the unknown. There's a certain staleness in the air when we're uncomfortable or lost. Looking past it and moving on is the best you can do. The old withered clock's hands are struck on 12.01. You can still hear the ticking of the pendulum. This door doesn't feel real, more like a painted on. You can't leave. It was a fake door. Real fake door. That looks... Th I mean, that looked like a secret for a second there, because it looks like it's fake. Hmm. All these non-secrets. Looks like your lock is broken, I can't open it. What about this? Are you a real door? Nope. What about you? Oh my god, all these doors are broken! I can't open- oh god. It's me. It's- it's the viewer at home! I still watch my old favorite shows every chance I get on repeat all day, every day. I watch Star Chase Chasers Excellent all day, every day. It's the only way I can truly tune out all the bad noise that surrounds me. I don't care how much it melts my brain. It's satisfying to hear familiar things. Fair enough, that's why I'm playing. 90% of the games are over and over again. Ever feel like you've been stuck somewhere for seemingly forever? It's like the exit's right behind me, but I can't see it. I'm so comfortable here, though. It's hard to explain in words. I feel that. Uh. 
Let's see, uh, nothing. It's like gonna be the one door I haven't interacted with. I have everything I need here. It's my perfect private paradise. Sharing it with other people just leaves me vulnerable. I don't want that. It's happened before and it'll happen again. Why bother risking it? I'm n I'm a vampire. Endless channels, media sounds. It all gets a little bit mushy after a while. I have nothing new to listen to. I need a new sound. Something to help me sleep. I had a radio or something. Put me at ease again. Will you help me fill the void with something pleasant for once? I have to find this guy a radio. But all the doors are stuck. I cannot open them. I cannot say for sure that the doors are stuck. But I cannot seem to open any door. Perhaps a radio will be in, in this dining hall. Hmm. A radio. There's a radio here. Is it broken? I can barely make out some different broadcasts. Mostly just static. Tuning it doesn't seem to do anything. It's stuck on the same frequency. I'll take it anyway. Hmm. Maybe he'll like just the white noise of the radio, or I can maybe try to fix it. Maybe I can give it to one of those other shades to fix. Hmm. We're getting- we're verging on liminal space territory a little bit. Ah, finally, something soothing sounds. I feel a little bit more complete than before. Maybe now I can sleep again. Maybe now I can wake up. Thank you. I hope you find the noise that suits you too. Hmm. Perhaps if I go back now I can enter that first door? Or maybe any door. Nope. I'm going to assume I can go back and maybe go through the first door. Or something with a clock. Or maybe I gotta go forward. Let's check the clock. Perhaps I need to move forward. Well, actually the sound might have been a reference to the clock earlier. And there's another clock at the end. Maybe that is the sound that I need. The other clock. And it'll uh, be my progression. Perhaps. Perhaps. Oh. Or there's just a, uh... There's just a floating platform here. Okay. That too. I don't know how I didn't see this hallway. Alright, let's climb our way out of this pit. Oh, there's the additional, uh... Elevation stations up here. Look at these doors on the wall, that's cool. There's no, no way of knowing which way that we are going. Alright. That's kind of like surreal looking down there and then seeing all the sideways doors and all that. It's a pretty cool area. Alright. We, uh... Huh. We've entered Aperture Science. There's some vending machines here, but you don't have any money. Besides, the products look a little gray and bland. No thanks. What's up? When was the last time I shaved? My reflection's there, but the glass is fogged. You won't find anything interesting here. No one will probably even get this far. I'm so hungry, but I'm too tired to make anything. There's a tunnel over there. I'd go with you, but I have to stay here. Can't ever leave. Take care. Oh. Turns out there was a tunnel over here the whole time. Let's check my dreamometer. Two dreams remain. Well, actually, if I get the one dream, my one dream might remain after this. I'm being uh, the DreamWorks film flushed away right now. Hashtag flushed away. Uh, all right, let's continue on down the the pit of regret. The turmoil pit of regret and remorse. Here we go. Whoa. Uh huh. Someone's taking a squat ma on the toilet. Give me your dreams. Oh, it's the orange man who's watching me. 
It was the orange man that was said to be watching me all the time during the dreams. I need this dream ampule. I can't give you my dreams. I need the am I require the ampule. Alright, our last Did You Know Gaming moment. I believe, right? Yeah, well, maybe two more. Either there's two... I don't know, actually. I don't know if these actually represent anything. I don't mean to be falling all the time. I gotta try to avoid it. Whenever possible. Wap-a-boo, wap a Yatata, Winds howling. That water looked like it was rising. I think it is. It is like rising and falling, but not like to a point where it was scary. Did you know? There's an entire commentary script within the game folder written by the dev. It describes the origins of each dream you can explore in the game. Check it out. That actually sounds very interesting. I should listen to that. I should actually definitely listen to that. That would be pretty cool. Late for class. Oh no. The, the school dream. If you ever find yourself cold and alone, cling to something. Anything. It doesn't matter if you forgot the answer to that one test. No one blames you when you relate to that one meeting. It's all just a bunch of numbers, pointless records, and data entries. The rock we live on rotates another day. It's gonna be okay. He's making it sound okay, but we're in... Creepy school. Oh, there's just an entity over there. Okay. Alright, well, it, it started off fun and fanciful, but now there's an entity. Alright. So the entity has crawled somewhere over here in this Gmod world. There's a chain link fence blocking the path. It feels completely immovable, like it's frozen in time. Alright, we're gonna probably have to open that up. Through our actions. Yeah, there's an, an, a strange entity. Hmm. Not that the humans are any- Okay, you're not a human, you're actually- You're just- a, This lifeless mannequin stares bleakly into space. I thought you were a person, but you're a mannequin. This lifeless mannequin misses its friends. Well, it has one friend over here. Hmm. Man, we started off so carefree, and now we are so less- We're so careful. This lifeless mannequin feels unfulfilled. This lifeless mannequin wants to go home. The books are on the ceiling, and the and the breakfast and the breadsticks are free. Hmm. I got a bad feeling about this gang. Uh, there is a sense of dread here. This lifeless mannequin is hungry. Maybe some food will satisfy it. Well, I do have gray. I could get some of that gray on appealing food. From the Venmo machine. Hmm. I don't have any money though. It doesn't look very appetizing. I mean, I need to get food, but I don't have any money. Oh! There was just a, a coin here. There's a strange familiar coin. It looks like a quarter, but it's thick and heavy. Hmm. I had that coin from earlier. My wish. It was my wish coin. You deposit the strange coin. A large hunk of meat fell out of the dispenser. Yeah. Hmm. You're not able to discern from its appearance what animal it may have come from. You take the meat. The mannequin will probably want this Castlevania meat. Okay. Time to go feed this mannequin some meat. You give the hunk of meat to the mannequin. The lifeless mannequin is tired now. You feel a wave of intense foreboding overtake your body. Oh god. Perhaps the entity is out here waiting for us. Oh, there's all the mannequin friends are here. Oh, it's getting really dark. Oh, this is foreboding! Although the mannequins are our friends, at least. We know that, so. This guy's covered in boysenberry uh, syrup. From art class. 
Oh man. That strange entity and the orange man are still are probably are out here. I'm not sure where. Oh wow, okay, this is pretty sick. This is a pretty cool corridor. Looking like some ocarina of time corridor. Huh. Well, there's the last dream cube thing, or here's a dream cube. We'll take it. These dreams aren't as fun anymore. Alright, now for real one last time. Or maybe it's just over there. Maybe the hub was the secret all along. Now, I believe they mentioned there is a secret world, and I will let you uh, find that if that is the case. So let's- we'll see though. Let's get our last Did You Know Gaming fact. Did you know? The dev has other games that they made you can play for free on itch, on their itch.io page. If you're enjoying the experience so far, they'd love it if you try their others too. Fair enough. Here we go. The Dream Hub Gem. Oh, the Prison of Souls. That's good. Okay. Wait a minute, are you talking- Goji, Goji, did you? They're trying to keep you from waking up. I won't let them. The passage to wakefulness must be protected at all cost. Whatever it takes, don't listen or look at them. Focus your mind and clear your thoughts. You'll wake up soon. Okay. We gotta focus our mind here before the Endermen come. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna have to jump off over here, I guess. The orange man and the entity are probably gonna try to get me. But I can't let them. Up, up. Whoa. Oh god, there's like some weird movement going on here. Oh god. Oh, I am- it is moving. I couldn't tell if it was moving or not. It's kinda hard to see. It's pretty dark in here. I don't know what is going on, or where to go. Did I just fall? Oh, there's a lot. There's a lot to unpack here. It is qu quite dark. And uh, now I, I am thoroughly, I thoroughly do not know which way is up. Uh, you? Okay, there's the big bunny. Whoa. Or maybe the bunny was normal size. Oh god. There's a lot going on here in the Lost Souls, like a highway. I shouldn't talk to this guy. Is this even still a dream? I feel hot and uncomfortable. Please help me wake up. This was one of those guys we were talking to earlier, the cat. I, that feels like so long ago. Please join us. No, I don't want to. I don't want to. Why am I here? What did I do? I did everything right. Why are the walls closing in? Oh god, we got to get out of here. I don't belong here, but where do I belong? I don't remember. Air is thick and damp. It's getting hard to breathe. Oh god, I got to get out of here. Yeah, we should try to leave. Oh, it's- Oh, it's the Among Us guy! What's up? This nightmare will be eaten. Pog? Dream Eater from- using Dream Eater from Pokemon? Uh... I think that was... Hmm. This might have been the right way still. Oh god, there's the big bun. But it's, it's ever moving out of my way. I can't get it. I have to when you walk away. King, Kingdom Hearts up the stairs again. I'm going to take it slow-ish uh, here. Because I don't want to fall off. Womp's Fortress of, of Souls over here. Take it slow, but at the same time, go at a pace. Come on. 
This is a tall tower. Do you have anything to say? Nope, just take it. Alright. Get me out of here. Get me out of this dream. Alright, I think I have enough to wake up. The Chaos Emeralds combine to wake me up. Hmm. Hmm. Ha. 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 As the Minecraft villager would villager would say. Ha. Goodbye, bunny man. And like that, our dreams are maybe at an end here. Hey, new dream select mode unlocked. Well, that was a good game, but I am actually, I am IRL tired now from streaming for an unexpectedly long time. Thank you guys for watching the stream, and I will catch you later. Goodbye.